Hi, and welcome to the video on how to customize QC reports and graphs in Expression Console. Affymetrix has two software packages which are used to analyze the expression arrays. Expression Console, which has two functions. The first is to generate the probe set signal summarization, or the actual signals off of the array. And second, to evaluate the QC metrics to answer the question, did my array work? In addition, they have the software package called Transcriptome Analysis Console, or the TAC software. This is used to look for differentially expressed genes or exons, depending the array on the array type, and also can be used to investigate alternatively spliced transcripts for the HTA or Human Transcriptome Array version 2. Today's video will be a short introduction in how to create a report with only the metrics of interest in it, how to adjust or create thresholds associated with these QC metrics, and how to edit the display of the signal histogram. So this is the Expression Console software after analysis has been run. In this case, it's on the gene level analysis of the HTA v2 array. For those of you who are unfamiliar with how to set up and perform an analysis in Expression Console, please refer to the video on affymetrics.com describing how to go about doing this. So today we want to look at investigating and tailoring a QC report in order to only contain the metrics of interest. So by default, as reviewed in the QC video, if you go to the report section and open a full report, you're going to see a report that has many columns of information, some of which may not be that relevant or of interest to you. So here you can see there's lots and lots of columns of data associated with it. So within Expression Console, you have the ability to tailor the reports in order to contain only the metrics that you're interested in. So how do you do this? So if you go up to the Report button, on the top and click report and you click new report. You open this up and you'll be provided a list of all of the metrics associated with the chip file or the results files that you have loaded. And now from this list you can select using the boxes on the left which individual metrics you want to have in a report and which ones you don't. So let's go ahead and create a particular report in this case just containing the controls both the hybridization and the labeling controls. Why am I picking these? Because we know this is the HTA v2 array, and you can see that by default, when we first loaded the study, everything in the study was out of bounds. Because this is the sample data, we know that there was both the ERCC mix one control substance added in, and also the Affymetrix labeling controls. And we know that those two controls, if you use them both, interact with each other to call false positives on the lice and the fee QC metrics. So let's go ahead and just go create a report that has just the hybridization and labeling controls from Affymetrics in it. So I'm going to check these and I'm going to click Save As and we will hit this as AFFX. Okay. It's also possible to go ahead now and uncheck these. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and we'll just quickly create a second one which only contains probe sets related to the background. So we'll take the three GC bin anti-genomic background probes. We'll scroll up, we'll skip over the positive controls. Here's the negative control. So we'll take the negative control and its standard deviation. Here we have the anti-genomics and their standard deviation. And if we scroll up further, we have the background mean. And I'm going to go ahead and add one more, which is the positive versus negative AUC. And I'm going to highlight that guy. And because he's not related to the backgrounds, I'm going to move him down. So it's possible to customize the order of the things that show up. And we're going to go Save As. And for this one, BG Signal. OK. Now we'll hit Cancel and close that. So now if we go up to Report and we click instead of Full Report, we do View Report, we have two options. We have the BG Signal and the AFFX Controls. Let's first by opening the BG Signal. And you can see now we just have a list of all of the controls related to the background signal. Here's the background mean that is in linear space. The other ones are in log space. And you can see these are after normalization. And you can see here's the background mean. And you can see, in fact, that we've changed the order so that the positive negative AUC is at the end. Okay. In addition, you could create a report, as you remember, 
that contains just the AFFX control. So let's open that one and you can see here that it's both the lice and the fee probe sets that are from the labeling controls that are out of bounds and we know this is due to the fact that we used both the ERCC mix and the labeling controls on the same array. So if this is going to be part of our routine process, we don't want this to always be showing up to call all of our arrays out of bounds because then we can't use any of the thresholds on other metrics. So how do we go about removing this? So if you go up to this little sign here on the toolbar, which is the greater than, less than signs, if you mouse over it, it says specify report threshold. So if we click that, it opens a dialog that allows us to edit the report control thresholds, right? So for any metrics we want. You can see here we have the positive, negative, less than AUC, so any, that will be highlighted if that, if that rule is violated. The bio BC decrease set, so here is the metric related to the lice. So if you click in the box so that it's highlighted here in yellow, then you can click remove. And we can do the same thing here for the fee, and we can remove that. So now the, neither one of those checks is in place for removal. Okay. If you want, you can add your own thresholds on any of the existing metrics in the array. In order to do that, you click Add. So when you choose to do the comparison, you have three ways to set thresholds for the metrics. The first is you can compare a metric to an individual threshold value, as was done for the positive versus negative AUC. Second, you can choose to compare two metrics to each other and say that you'll highlight one if it's not greater than, less than another one. The third is you can actually compare the metric itself to the average of that metric across all the arrays by the number of standard deviations it is away from the average of all of the arrays. So let's go ahead and do one of those. So we'll compare a metric to the average of the metric across all of the arrays by the standard deviation. And let's go ahead and click select. Oh, where is the GC bin background one? Let's do the GC bin 12 background. And let's say, let's highlight any arrays whose value background is more than three standard deviations away from the average of all of the arrays for this probe set. If we go ahead and hit click OK, you can see now that they're all within bounds and that the highlighting for the fee and the lice metrics have gone away. So that's how one goes about editing the control metrics. You can either add a threshold or you can modify the thresholds that are existing. And the final thing we wanted to review today is how to change the display of the signal histogram. So if you go to the signal distribution here or if you choose to open the signal distribution from the toolbar, you can click this signal histogram. You can see that right now it's displayed by bars. So perhaps I'd prefer to see this by lines, which is my actual personal preference. So if we right click on this graph, you can see that we have the option to display it as bars, lines only, or in fact you could do bars and lines. In addition from this view it is also possible to edit the scale. You can also copy the image to the clipboard or if you would prefer to use your own graphing program you can export the raw underlying data associated with the graph to a text file and then open it in the graphing program in order to make the graphs you choose. So that concludes our demonstration of how to create a customized report displaying only the metrics of interest, how to customize thresholds on these metrics, and then how to change the display of the signal histogram graph. Um, I'd like to take this final opportunity to point out a couple additional resources on affymetrics.com. There's the NetFX Analysis Center, in which allows you to get probe set information for an, each of the individual probe sets on an array. We have manuals and other white papers and data sheets available on affymetrics.com. And there are other training videos for both Expression Console and Transcriptome Analysis Console that are also present on the training page from affymetrics.com. Thank you for your attention.